tragedy has struck those on the Turkish and Syrian border, as a huge earthquake has devastated the area. Location, location, location star Kirsty Alsop, 51, admitted the horror of the event was keeping her awake in the earlier hours of this morning, as she went on to share her personal connection to the event. The Channel 4 presenter wrote about the large-scale disaster in view of her 434,000 Twitter followers. Woke at 3 a.m., must admit I lay there thinking about the horror of a night in the freezing cold, having lost family and friends, she penned. Kirsty then went on to share her personal connection to the event, adding, I have never been to Syria, but I have spent a great deal of time in Turkey. The presenter's followers took to the comment section to echo Kirsty's heartbreak over the tragedy. Many commented, same here Kirsty. El cannot imagine the terror, utterly heartbreaking. This morning I'll appreciate my life more than I'll have for a long time. Sick, while Pongo wrote, the aftershocks will go on for years, it's horrible. As the plates settle back you keep wondering if this rumble is going to escalate. I think we had 13,000 aftershocks over magnitude 3 in Christchurch, just horrible. Sick, Kirsty's tweet comes after news that a huge earthquake has caused devastation in southern Turkey and northern Syria. The 7.8 magnitude quake struck near Gaziantep in the early hours of Monday morning while people were still asleep. Reuters has reported the center said the quake was at a depth of 46 kilometers, 28. 58 miles. More than 4,800 people have already been killed and a huge international aid effort is now underway. Countries including the US and South Korea have already sent aid after Turkey issued an international appeal for help. Turkey's disaster agency says more than 3,381 people were killed in their country after the initial quake, while more than 15,000 were injured. Meanwhile, more than 1,500 people are reported to have died in Syria, with the death toll continuing to rise. After the initial quake, a 7. 5 magnitude tremor hit the area once more at around 1. 30 p.m. local time, which officials confirmed was not an aftershock. Rescuers are now attempting to save people trapped beneath the rubble, after thousands of buildings collapsed amid the chaos. Seismologists would expect there to be a series of aftershocks after the two major quakes yesterday which, although less powerful than the initial event, will pose a risk to civilians and aid workers alike. Many international aid organizations have set up appeals to provide emergency assistance to Turkey and Syria, including British Red Cross, Turkey and Syria Appeal, Oxfam, Turkey and Syria Earthquake Response Appeal, and UNICEF, Appeal for Earthquake in Turkey and Syria.